Let's welcome to the haunting hour. Just make sure the haunting castle music is on continuously. All right. So it's Halloween. Well, not Halloween, but month of Halloween. So let's get started with YouTuber 101. Today's lesson, how to get connections. Now, it's very important for each and every VTuber to have connections. But how do you get them? And how do connections overall get you results for live streams of collaborations with other VTubers? We are going into this strong and hard as of right now. Let's begin. So, a single step is all it takes. A single old step to a greater journey. With a lot of VTubers, you must understand, they don't want connections, they just want to do things on their own. I want to have connections. So to understand how to get connections, you first need to overall connect with artists. Or artists slash riggers, or riggers in general. Let it be known, Artists and riggers can be found on one site, Twitter slash X. It's the birthplace of some of the greatest artists and riggers in the VTubing scene. They can all be found there, and you can connect with them. But you must be weary, as each and every one of these artists are very fickled and damaged. But even more so, you need to be even more careful is there something very wrong? Some of these artists work with the dreaded art known as AI art. This AI art is a huge no-no for VTubers, as the VTubers are supposed to be extensions of artists. Rather you do the art yourself, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute, and the rigging yourself, or you have a mama and papa that are artists slash riggers. As the artist is the mama. And the rigger is the papa. It is a common trope in the VTubing scene that mamas and papas, artists and riggers alike, are very important. The rigger is the papa. And I just realized... It is a common trope in the VTubing scene the volume was on one of my live streams that I'm keeping up with. Now, very hilarious of me, but even more so, mamas and papas are very important, and they are always treated like your second parents as a VTuber. But, here's the thing, mamas and papas can offer that of collaborations, depending on how popular or even overall well demand the mama slash papa could be. The mama and papa uh, of VTubers, depending on which one you go with and the connections they have in the artist scene, can truly overall open up windows for collaborations. But you must be wary. And some of these artists really don't have connections. Some of them do, some of them don't. But this is where you have to keep your eye on the artist scene and to make sure that they have these connections. But what if you do the art yourself and the rigging? Well, to get your art or design or even that of your rigging noticed, you have to do it on live streams, but you also want to be wary as well, as there's artists and riggers out in the scene that really don't like this type of brand of, of VTubing. They see it as a bit of a negative Nancy when others do the rigging and art direction for themselves. It's not really a bad thing in general, but it is complicated, and it does make it harder for you to get noticed in the VTubing scene. 
and you do it all yourself, this means you have to spread your image yourself. One of my greatest weaknesses is spreading my image in a unique, positive manner as I've been through things. But despite all this, I will have to say that you need to be careful of some of these artists slash riggers. If they pop up in your live stream and go, Hey, um, you know, you're doing art on live stream? I don't like that. We need to talk behind the scenes on your Discord to overall let you know how I feel about you doing this. Now, there are artists with opinions. These artists feel really offended, upset, and angry about you doing it yourself. As then they'll try to do such things as DM you on Twitter slash X or contact you on your personal Discord. Hmm, <clears throat> this happened to me. <sighs> An artist tried to follow me on Discord, my personal Discord, a Discord that they weren't supposed to know that exists or be found. Now, it's because of this artist that did this, I blocked them. Because I knew what was coming. I'm an artist and rigger myself. I do things myself. And this person was upset. They thought I had tons of money to throw their way. So I could buy a super expensive model from them. And they were going to go after me for such an overall models that I make. May I mention, the models I make are art in their own right, and you really don't have to prove yourself to anyone as long as you can make the models in a positive and overall beautiful way. <laughs> I think my model speaks for itself. And the several models I've made beforehand, and will continue to make. All in all, you, it is your job if you create your own art of your own model and rig to get yourself noticed in the scene. There will always be VTubers or artists slash riggers that will generally hate this motive or way of expression. They will try to force their opinion, voice their opinions and force them upon you and force you to spend money that you either don't have or you don't want to spend. For me, it's the first one, it's the money I don't have. But despite all this, when you finally start obviously talking with these artists, and you finally get a feel for a friendship or relationship, then you can start opening windows to collab with other VTubers. But make sure you start off small. You don't want to go in the mid-range or the high-range. You know? As you're just a beginning VTuber, you just got your overall connections. And it's up to you to start out small with the smaller streamers. As now we'll go into how obviously the connections allow you to have streams and what kind of streamers you should go for at first. At first you should go for small low-level VTubing streamers to gain that of more collaborative allies and friends in the VTubing scene. This is an alteration by the way of how to get collabs. So you got your first collab this collab ended up overall getting you more views, more subscriptions, heck, maybe a few donations, or even that of a raid or two. It's really up uh, to how you handle yourself and your guests. But despite all this, you should really be careful of the beginning VTuber. Some of them have more baggage, others just hate others. And some of them are just too controversial before your own good. 
I think I know a little bit about controversy, as I just got over my first two attackers on my last two attackers online, as they are both deleted and they're no longer affecting my content. So, despite all this, you should always be wary of your collaborative efforts and make sure the person is not a negative influencer or even that of too hot of a topic to collab with. A lot of beginning VTubers are like this way and you must also be wary if they're currently in controversy no matter what. Now, oh, despite all this, you just had your first collab, and you want another one. This is where you obviously have to rely on another one of your artist friends to know another VTuber. You should always spread out across several artist friends to have collaborative efforts with other VTubers. You should never go with the same artist the second time for obviously another friend as it would look sus or is outdated suspicious. You never want to look suspicious in the VTubing scene with that. So it really relies upon you to have multiple artists that have multiple connections with multiple other VTubers to grow your image and your popularity. If anything, you just had quite the couple of beginning v 2 v collabs. What if you get contacted by one of the mid-levels or one of the high levels? Let's go with the latter and go with the high ones. Let's just say, for instance, oh, I don't know, you're a female VTuber and you were just contacted by Project Melody as your lewd female VTuber. She goes, hey, I like your shtick. How about overall you and I have a cloud together? This is where obviously you all have to live up to Melody's expectations while also sticking up with the act. With lewd tubers, the one thing you have to live up to is their lewd act and presentation. Even on things such as Twitter slash X, you must live up the, to the act to build connections, whether you're a lewd tuber or not. As there's a lot of female uh, VTubers that do the lewd acts, and I'm not going to lie, to obviously play off of their act is very important for your career, whether you're male or female. But let's just say, alright, you weren't contacted by a big time lewd tuber. You were contacted by a big time, obviously, VTuber, maybe Merriweather, or Taka or not. Taka or not of Takahana 101 is literally considered the king of comedy. So you must have that of a huge overall awareness and a great sense of humor to obviously live up to Taka or not's expectations. But what about Mary Weatherly? Mary Weatherly is funny, lewd, and he's more of a well-rounded male VTuber as he has plenty of years of experience underneath his <laughs> metaphorical belt. But despite all this, it is really up to you to live up to the easy VTuber's expectations and play off their acts accordingly and overall all Oh, perfectly. If you do not, it will give you a negative image and bigger type VTubers in that industry or type of job career will not want to work with you. Obviously, this has been VTuber 101, how to get connections, and a more well-rounded uh, uh, overall lesson on how to get collabs. Obviously, it's always up to you Ooh, to take that single step. The greatest journey starts with a single step. And to get collabs, you must take the single step of faith to start talking to others. There's a lot of VTubers out there that are very scarred, scorned, and hurt that do not want to work with other VTubers or even other artists. 
you must be, be careful with this. But as well, make sure that their DMs are always open, are currently open for communication. We're currently sneaking into their DMs without their permission if they accidentally left them open is a huge no-no! Same thing goes with VTubers. If their DMs are not open for collabs, do not attempt to contact them. It will be bad for you and your image. I have been Commander Devin Linehart. This is been, and obviously VTuber 101, how to get connections. Until next time, cadets, I'll see you on the next planet. This is Commander D reporting out later. Now, alright, we're done. School's over.